In this video, I'm going to be teaching you how to use your growth hormone, which has been prescribed as part of your IVF treatment protocol. Um, so growth hormone usually will come in um, bio form and the brand name is called Omnitrope. Okay, and so this is the powder um, that it comes with and usually it will also come with a bottle of bacterial static water to help mix the Omnitrope. The, you're also going to see on the bottle that the official name is called Somatropin, S-O-M-A-T-R-O-P-I-N. So um, there might be different brands for Somatropin. So, if, so uh, the most common is Omnitrope, um, but sometimes there might be substitution. So just check with your pharmacy and make sure you got the growth hormone. Um, in this vial, you get 5.8 milligrams per vial, and that provides for two days dosing. And you um, want to mix these together. Um, but once you do, please remember that this is two days dose. So you do not want to inject the whole thing in one evening. Not that it would hurt you, but um, you know this is a very expensive medication that you want to spread it out to the appropriate time frame so that you're not overpaying for medications. So I'm going to go ahead and teach you how to um, mix these and do your injection. Um, another thing to remember is storing this. I recommend just keeping it in the refrigerator, but make sure the fridge temperature is not too cold um, so that it doesn't freeze over. Yeah. Um, and for purposes of demonstration, I am um, gonna use this little bottle here that has saline in it, but you wanna use the one that comes with it, okay? So usually you pop off the lid, clean it with alcohol swab, and then you wanna draw out the whole thing. This has 1.14 ml of fluid, and that extra little bit is to account for any loss that you can't get. So um, you wanna take your um, syringe, 3 ml syringe usually that has a big needle on it, and you just want to draw up all the fluid just like that, keeping your needle in the fluid and not in air. Okay, and if for whatever reason um, you have air in it, then you can always just push the air out like you, we taught you with the Minipure injections um, and the other injections. So you can just push that out. And then what you wanna do is you wanna take the whole volume of this and um, clean the top of the Omnitrope and then inject it into the powder and then again, gently swirl it to mix it. Um, and then once you have it all mixed up, then what you wanna do is you want to pull out just half a cc or half an ml. So it's interchangeable. So you pull out your half an ml, okay? And then if you get any air, then you wanna kind of get rid of that. If you're a little bit shy of the half an ml, you can always go back in and draw up a little bit more. But typically, you know, if it's just within very, very close, then you're good. Um, and then you can switch out to the smaller needle. So you wanna make sure you have the 27 gauge needle, which you usually do injections with, twist it on, and then you'll be ready to inject. Now, make sure that you put the extra half an ml that's left in the refrigerator so that you could use it tomorrow. Just draw up the whole thing and use it. And then that'll be done. That'll be your uh, growth hormone injection. Um, do remember that um, by the time you start growth hormone, typically um, it's also when you've already started the cetratide. That's kind of the most common protocol. Sometimes some doctors will ask you to start it on day seven, regardless if you started growth, um, I'm sorry, the cetratide. So please follow the instructions that were provided to you on your treatment calendar and certainly your provider uh, when they evaluate you during your ultrasound and um, during your visit, we'll be giving you instructions about it as well. Um, but always refer to your treatment calendar to make sure that you have the right timing um, and right dosing for starting everything um, that's part of your treatment protocol. Thank you.